Drizzling, and I can hear the roof just pitter pattering, and it's a perfect Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do a uh, quick update on just how my week was and how things are going, and you know, just random things that pop into. So, let's talk about music. Um, so, I've been listening to a lot of like Pink Floyd lately, and I've been listening to the album Division Bell, and their first song, Cluster One, is a very calm, quiet piece with like a couple of notes here and there. It's very peaceful. I also really like Marooned. I, that's the third song on the album, and then, yeah, I think that's it. There's another song, but I just don't remember. I, start, I think it's like Water something. Water by the Beach? I don't know, but Marooned is a, is a good one by them. Other songs I like from Pink Floyd are Dogs, of course, Dogs. Um, oh, my favorite song by Pink Floyd is Have a Cigar. That's like the ultimate song. Excuse me. And then, um, I also really like Sheep. There's also Pigs, three different ones. So the title is called Pigs, three different ones. <laughs> um, and then, but my first song that I heard by Pink Floyd was Wish You Were Here. And that one's a good one too, but it's not my favorite. Um, in terms of like Lana Del Rey songs and you know I have a list somewhere yes I do I do okay one moment all right so Lana Del Rey is I'm basically a Swifty with Lana um, and I have a list of like my favorite songs so religion West Coast West Coast that's a very obvious one though like I feel like everyone knows that Born to Die, everyone knows that one too. But such a good song. Say Yes to Heaven, Art Deco, God Knows I Tried, and then Taco Truck XVB, and VB stands for Venice Beach, Gods and Monsters, that's my karaoke song. <laughs> In the land of the gods and monsters. Anyway. Young and Beautiful, that's another good one. Will You Still Love Me When I'm No Longer Young and Beautiful, that's a lyric. And then Let Me Love You Like a Woman, that's a very beautiful, um, quiet, more quiet than usual song. Um, Swan Song is also really good. 24 is good. And I am sure I am missing like some really good ones. Salvatore is good. Um, Cherry is really good. Um, the uh, Cinnamon Girl, I really like Cinnamon Girl. I don't really like the song Love. I think that's a little overplayed, and yeah, I don't, I don't love it. <laughs> I don't love love. <laughs> All right, other songs that I like. Um, this is like the top favorite song. It's actually by Moby Dick. Not Moby Dick. It's by Moby. Why? I'm sorry. It's not by them. It's Moby. And the song is called Ever Loving. Ever Loving. Um, and it's like an acoustic guitar piece. There's no singing involved. And it's a three minute song. And I wish it went for like 30 minutes. It's one of those songs. So, yeah. Ever Loving by Moby. My favorite song by Radiohead is How to Disappear Completely. I have, I have a lot of songs I like from Radiohead, but um, I also really like Nude, N-U-D-E. 
And then I like Reckoner. Reckoner is from the same album as Nude, but honestly, they're, a lot of their songs are so good. Um, other, like, poppy songs that I like are by Five. Uh, it's the number Five, I-V-E. It's an English boy band, and their song is called It's the Things You Do. That's my favorite song from their album. It's the Things You Do. And then um, some other random songs that I really like that I wrote down is by LP. So E L dash P. When the Moon is Blue. And that is such a great song. Like, I should listen to it in the car today. I will. Alright, so yeah, When the Moon is Blue. And. I love like raspy voices and I think it's because my dad has a raspy like little like rough voice and I, I love it. I love it. Um, another good one, it's not like a top favorite but I heard it recently is called Talk Love About Happy um, and another one is called Drive by Deftones. And those, the last two songs, Drive by Deftones and Talk a Little Bit Happy, I heard at the bar on the first date with the guy I'm currently seeing. Um, what else is there? And that is, that's it. Yeah, that's all my favorite songs, I guess, for now. Oh, um, a sad song, if you're going through like some sad times is by Willie Nelson, Always On My Mind. And that's a really good one, Always On My Mind. Um, also a good one by Willie Nelson is Georgia. Um, that's a really slow, kind of a sad song. So, yeah. So those are my songs that I'm recommending to you. And I hope you can um, relate in any way with with music because I know I'm always looking for songs to listen to and I'm kind of picky when it comes to music but yeah those are the songs that I like all right let's have a sip of coffee cheers let's talk about the the good stuff the guy all right um and there's actually actually like a really funny meme like not a meme, but a short video. Uh, after the first date, the woman's like analyzing every little thing that the, the guy said, and then the guy like comes in his place, he's like, I have to use the bathroom, and that's it. But yeah, um, but yeah, things are going really, really great. We met on Thursday night and also Friday night, and we've been going to um, the same um, Japanese restaurant. This is our second time now, so I kind of like having a regular place where I go. And last night, Saturday, today is Sunday, last night he texted me uh, at like 10.30 saying that, um, one minute, sorry, I have to turn the heater on my feet because it's so cold. But um, anyway, he tried my parents' restaurant and he said it was really good, so um, we didn't hang out on Saturday and we're not going to hang out today and that's okay with me. Of course, I would have liked to hang out with him, but, um, he's really busy today. So, yeah. And I have a lot of errands to run that I've just been kind of procrastinating. But, um, yeah, we were talking about, like, places that he wants to move to. And so I live... In one city and one place is here and other place is here a little bit further and um, I was like okay so what are the pros and cons of this place and what are the pros and cons of the other place and so um, the place that's like, closer to me is like six to seven hundred dollars more per month so I was like yeah that's kind of a lot more um, and yeah he was saying like you know we could save that and we could spend it together, you know. So 
So that's a good sign. And then, um, but yeah, I mean, dating in LA is very, very hard. And distance is so important. Um, it's hard to date someone who lives like an hour away. I was actually like thinking a lot about my previous, previous relationship, not this past one, but um, this other guy. And he lived like 45 minutes away. Sorry. So he lived 45 minutes away from me. And I had so much anxiety when he and I were dating. Um, and it's because of our anxieties attachment style. Like I'm an anxious attachment style and he was an avoidant style. So it just did not work out. Also, I was like thinking about, uh, you know, like what I look for in a man and something that is so minor, but is very important is like being a gentleman. And what I mean by that is like opening doors for the woman. Um, and that's a big one, right? Like it shows that the guy is putting the woman first and the, that guy, um, that I went on a date with for three months, um, he like did not open doors. Like he just did not have like the basic manners that a guy that I would expect from a guy. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, I think he's, I'm pretty sure that he's still single. <laughs> I mean, I'm still single, so I'm not one to complain, but like, I don't know. I was thinking about that relationship and there were a lot of like happy moments, but also when we weren't together, I was like very anxious. And so with this guy, I feel like when, even when we're not, not talking all day, I feel fine. Like I'm not anxious at all. Um, I do get a little anxious though when we don't have weekend plans because I like to spend my weekends with the guy I'm dating because um, the weekdays are just very difficult. So, uh, but then if we like hung out on Thursday and Friday, it's okay to take like two days off, you know? <laughs> But yeah, ideally I would like to have the weekends planned. So I guess, yeah, we have next Sunday planned, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. And I have a pink dress that I'm, that I already, um, got from, got back from the, um, dry cleaners and I have a, sh I have a pair of shoes that I still haven't worn that I'm like treasuring, but yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited for this, um, dating to blossom into a relationship. Um, but still a part of me is, um, say a little hesitant. I'm always a little hesitant. Um, I'm very indecisive about a lot of things. And of course there's, you know, pros and cons to everything and no one's perfect. So I just need to kind of, um, lower my expectations, I guess. I don't know. So that's, some, that's something that I always like struggle with, but yeah, so far it's, it's been really good and I'm, I'm very happy. Like I'm very like satisfied, you know? Um, but yeah, that's, it's going great. I don't have any other updates. Um, we were going to go antique shopping today, which I asked him like at 10 in the morning, but he wasn't going to be able to make it. So I was kind of sad about that, but, um, but it's okay. I heard that the, the flea market here is supposed to be really good for like antique shopping. Um, so I might actually do the flea market. I've never been to one, so... I mean, I, I don't know what I'm expecting, but I'm, oh, so <laughs> backing up, I want to buy a dresser and I'm pretty sure I know which dresser I want. It's the Simply Amish Shenandoah dresser. Um, and in the color Michael Cherry, I need to decide between oak and walnut. I don't know which one to choose. Um, 
And then maybe I'll go with oak because oak is just beautiful, you know what I mean? And then, um, and then I'm going to get the mirror with it. The mirror is separate from the dresser. So yeah, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, furniture is expensive, but I think if I buy this piece, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to love it, I'm going to pass it down to my children and children's children, and it's going to be just something that I uh, really, really love. So yeah, that's all I have. Um, I want to show you the nails I'm using and I have on right now because it's so pretty. It's by Ardell. It's a chrome. Seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. Come on. You cannot beat that. This is so good. Um, and it's like a beautiful luminescent pink and you know it's really nice. Oh, I do have an update on the wardrobe incident. Um, in the last video where I mentioned a wardrobe incident where something happened and I was telling the guy about it and he's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> so, so that's good news. Um, but long story short, my, my, um, my sticky popped off and there was a wardrobe disaster. So, um, but yeah, he didn't see anything. So that's good. All right, let's finish this cup of coffee. Cheers. <sighs> Tell me about your week and you know things that are going on with you. I need to go to the mall today. I need to return my one pair of shoes from Macy's and then I need to buy another pair of shoes. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to go to Marshall's. I need to buy my mom a notebook. Uh, notebook and the candle section is my favorite, but it's always a little messy. <laughs> I went to Office Depot. Man, Office Depot is way overpriced. I was looking at their notebooks and it costs like $30 for a notebook. Who is willing to pay $30 for a notebook? Not me. <laughs> um, and I'm like looking at the notebook. I'm like, you know what? I can find something like this at Marshall's. Like I have seen something like this, or even better, at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. You know, but I guess it's about the the shopping experience too, because there's not a lot of people at at Office Depot. But yeah, it's just really overpriced. Oh, I've also been wanting to buy pens. <laughs> I have been low on my um. Pilot G2 pen 0 0.7, not 0 0.5. 0 0.7 is the way to go. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I need to go to like Costco, which I'm dreading Costco, you know, I, it's always so crowded on the weekends. All right, well, that is my hodgepodge of random things that I wanted to talk about today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.